Now we've got the Custom Crawlers D11 Bruder Dozer Conversion. Uh, this one's got all the options on it. Um, it's got and an included sound unit in this model as well. So first off with this unit, uh, we can turn on our remote and turn on our power switch. Now uh, you can see that the unit has two rotating rotating beacons up on the roof. Uh, it does have a full <coughs> LED set. Uh, it does have four four white LEDs. Uh, I've got two up in the very front. Uh, actuator cylinder uh, area and I've got two installed on the back of the cab. Uh, there are two orange uh, marker lights on the sides of the unit. Uh, the unit does have four red LEDs at the tail of the unit. The unit has a sound kit, a Sense Innovations ESS Dual uh, sound kit. And if we uh, tap forward on the throttle, the unit starts up. also has a horn so after a few seconds of not touching the throttle uh, the sound unit or uh, motor sound shuts back off uh, the horn can still be operated from the remote so the two actu actuonics actuators that are up on the blade um, are can be positioned anywhere along the travel all the way from full up to full down where it actually puts a decent amount of pressure down on to the so you can dig below the the actual uh, track level um, it also has got a Actuonics actuator on the rear ripper. In the mid position, it just starts putting pressure down onto the ground. We can uh, lift the unit off of the ground. leave the unit uh, holding up its own weight uh, for very long. Uh, if you were in the dirt, uh, that ripper would uh, dig down into the ground then, uh, at least if it was a looser dirt or sand or something. Um, the beacon lights up on the roof can be changed uh, by flipping the beacon switch on the remote. That goes all the way through off. So the LED lights and the sound unit are can be shut off. Um, the switch for the sound unit and the LED lights is 
inside the cabin here. So that shut off all of the LED lights. Uh, the beacons can still be turned on and operated. Um, but now with that switch off internally for the LED lights and the sound unit, we can drive it and the sound will not kick on. Uh, the main on switch for the unit is right back here, just behind the passenger side rear of the cab. So the sound unit on this D11 is located inside. Um, Normally you wouldn't be able to access it uh, and there is a volume control on this unit uh, to turn it up and down uh, but with the body all clipped together uh, there would have been no way to access it. But I did add in a feature where you can pull off the side panel here and see in to the volume control buttons, the plus and the minus, so the up and the down, on the sound unit. So you can actually adjust your volume higher or lower on your sound unit uh, while the unit is all assembled here. And then to the cover, simply clips back into place. So when your battery goes dead in your unit um, <clears throat> you can you charge the unit there is a charging port right up underneath of the track here so you simply plug in your charging plug to that and here's the charging plug for it it's got the power pole connectors um, I'm not going to plug it into it right now because uh, while I've got the power onto the unit, uh, as soon as you plug that in, if that battery has charge and your ends are not in the charger, they are live. So uh, if you, when you're going to plug it in, make sure that you are plugged into the charger first and I will show you that in a minute. So the unit uh, needs charging. Uh, plug the battery charger in. Uh, and then there's a port right up underneath of the track. So ready to charge. It's a two cell. Lipo. Not at all shut off by itself, so then you just disconnect it and good to go. Checking back in. Uh, battery is still charging. As you can see, we're charging it at about 4 amps. Uh, it's been on for just over 44 minutes right now. Uh, it'll display, it shows how many uh, milliamps of power that it's put into the pack. It shows its current voltage, so uh, I'm expecting it to, you know, not be too terribly much longer and it'll shut off, but uh, it's all automatic. Uh, you don't have to do anything once you plug it in to charge it. You just let her charge, and when it's done, uh, disconnect it from the dozer and then uh, unplug it from the wall. Just checking back in again. Uh, we're at 56 minutes, almost 57 minutes on, of being on charging. Uh, it was at 4 amps. As you can see, it, uh, as it gets closer to its peak charge, it has lowered down its uh, charge amperage automatically. Um, so as it gets closer to the end, it'll slowly uh, lower down the amperage by itself and before it shuts itself off. So back in for a fourth time you can see here now we're at 
just over an hour and nine minutes. Uh, we've put in just over 3,800 milliamps into the unit. Uh, the current pack voltage 8.39 volts. Uh, the charge current, as you can see, is continually continuously going down uh, because as the pack gets closer to being completely charged, it'll just uh, keep dropping the amperage down even though we had it set at 4 amps uh, to begin with. <clears throat> I would recommend um, only charging it at 4 amps. Uh, I can handle uh, faster charging, but I feel that you'll get a lot longer of a life overall out of your battery if you just keep her around 4 amps for this one. So Checking back in, the unit's all done. I'll unplug her from the dozer. There we go, dropped off, saying there's no battery. We'll go ahead and plug her from the wall and all good. You have just watched the Custom Crawlers Bruder D11 Dozer Conversion video. If you would like to see more, head over to www.customcrawlers.com or look us up on YouTube.